Hey everybody, it's Mahoney. Um, <laughs> I got my kratom in from my uncle in Thailand, and uh, it's the Mada, or translated literally into the pimp, uh, red vine Thai kratom. And I, I've had kratom before. I have. Um, I've had it traditionally where you take like ten leaves and you chew on them, and it tastes like crap. I mean, honestly, it tastes like you're chewing on battery acid. And, um, you know, it took about anywhere between five to six grams for it to be effective. Now, this was like seven years ago. Um, my uncle has been, like, selectively growing certain kratom plants that um, exhibit certain qualities that, it liked, that he likes. And so that's what I got. And I thought, well, shoot, this morning, let me try it out before I start telling everybody that, uh, you know, this is good. Because, who knows, the quality might be a little bit different, you know, from plant to plant. Um, but I, 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 I didn't feel my uncle would, would do anything shysty. Um, wow. I don't know if you guys can tell, but um, in a low dose, Kratom acts much like caffeine. Without the jitters, without the stomach thing. So I am wide awake, um, and it took about three grams for four cups of tea. Four cups of tea, three grams, um, which is pretty badass. Um, next thing I'm going to do, instead of drinking the nasty-ass tea that I had to like cover with other tea and sugar, is I'm just going to try the capsules. I've got about a gram plus in each double zero capsule. So I figured two or three of those might give me the same effect. Now, I do remember that in higher doses, Kratom takes on the opposite effect, and it acts more like a, a sedative, um, an analgesic, a, a pain reliever. So um, hmm, one of these times, I, pretty soon probably, maybe tonight even, <laughs> I'm going to try it out. I'm going to try it out maybe six to ten grams and uh, see how it works this particular one like I said I've had Mitrogena speciosa before or Kratom I've had it I've had the extracts and um, you know I, I've always I've always enjoyed it it's it's uh, mild as far as it's it as it comes on you know as the effect starts to pick up it's real mild but it's steady and it stays pretty pretty long um, I don't remember any crash feeling from it like you do with coffee you know you, you drink one or two espressos and then three hours later you're just dragging ass <laughs> um, I, I haven't I've yet to get that feeling um, now exhaustion after running around with like a chicken with his head cut off yeah I have but um, <laughs> that's that just goes with the territory you're gonna run around like a lunatic and uh, be all crazy, and that's what's going to happen. You're going to be tired afterwards. So, um, in place of my pain meds tonight, I'm going to try 8, maybe 10 grams. Capsule form. Um, don't get me wrong. After a while, you get used to the taste. It's like coffee. You actually build up a little um, taste for it. And you add a little sugar, a little milk, whatever. I don't, I don't use milk, but dairy, non-dairy product, whatever. Um, mix it with other teas. The other thing I like to mix it with is like Earl Grey. Um, it kind of cuts out that bitter flavor. But like, like any dedicated coffee drinker, after a while, it's just not the same unless you know it's a straight macchiato or something, a triple latte. You know, we want that, that coffee bite. So um, by about the fourth cup, I was realizing oh, it's not so bitter. But to say that it's not bitter, I'd be lying. It's bitter. It's like chewing on aspirin the first time you drink it. So I just sipped through the first two cups, and then the second two cups, I kind of gulped. Um, maybe I was already jittery from the first two, but I am, I feel like Superman today, which is amazing because, you know, I'm a lunatic. That would make me Dr. Horrible. Awesome. I could be like Dr. Horrible. No, I don't sing and dance very well. In any case, I'm getting off the subject. Kratom. Love it. I'm going crazy. This is like 
for fi people with fibromyalgia uh, and and like uh, chronic fatigue syndrome, I spend a lot of time laying down, a lot of time inactive because I'm so exhausted. And uh, I can see from today that this this could possibly help me with that exhaustion without having to take large doses of caffeine. Now I'm not going to cut out my coffee. I love my coffee. I love my tea. Um, don't get me wrong, that's insanity. I'm crazy, but not that crazy. Love coffee. But I am going to start supplementing this Kratom into my diet. I had done it before to get off of some pretty heavy narcotics, like OxyContin. And I was taking 380 milligram OxyContin a day, plus all those instant release. It, it was just horrible. I mean, I don't know how someone could, could uh, other than the physical addiction, how someone could mentally want to stay that way. I, I it was too much for me. And and when I get to a point mentally that I'm done with something, physically tough it out. I don't care. Um, it took me 30 days and about four ounces of kratom, but I made it, and I have yet to be on that shit again. So. I do take some pain meds. I had someone in one of my forums bring it up. She she was a little confused as to where I stood on this on this whole thing. There are medications out there that I have to take, um, and uh, this comes from years of of trying different ones, trying without, trying with, exercise, diet. I need a combination. I'm I'm not a lucky person that can find one thing that works. So I have to combine my, my diet with exercise. And I have been slowly kind of finding botanicals uh, or combination of botanicals that can take up a little more of what I need to take. So what I need to take, I can take less of, if that makes any sense at all. So, for example, if I'm taking two milligrams of something, and I can drink two cups of the tea, and I only have to take one milligram, then for me that's a win-win. Because uh, people like myself, um, there was a time I was taking about 24 pills a day, 12 at a time, twice a day. 24 pills. Now forget the active ingredient. The binders in those pills are what kills the kidney and liver. You've got talcum powder, you've got you know, uh, what do they call that? Um, aluminum something or other, some crap. None of it's good for you. A lot of times they'll use Tylenol. Tylenol and ibuprofen are the worst possible things you could actually do to your your internal organs. So over the, the many, 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 many years of use in Asia, um, they have found minimal, if any, major physical side effects. A lot of the people who chew the fresh leaf, obviously because of the chlorophyll in the green leaf, the inside of their mouth gets dyed or stained green, kind of like henna, but not brown, green. Um, and and people, you know, they notice, hey, that guy's a kratom chewer. But in Thailand and places like that, it's it doesn't have the stigma like uh, other plants, like marijuana or poppies. Now, you know, I'm not against poppies. I love poppies. I think they're beautiful flowers. And there are some pain medications that are derived from opiates that when used responsibly, you know, and I say responsibly, they uh, they can be helpful. During the Civil War, morphine was considered God's gift because if you can imagine, you get shot in the leg and the only thing they have is a wood saw to cut your leg off and no anesthetic morphine comes in pretty nice and um, sometimes you just have to suck it up but um, it's nice to know that there's some alternatives out there so um, yeah today I'll probably be all over the place until until this stuff wears off and from from what I remember and from what I read I'm looking at about four to six hours from about an hour ago so um, <laughs> I will try to update you guys with my with my vlogs here um, as to what the hell I'm doing. Um, 
but uh, it's you know my whole life isn't just about cannabis and, and, and all that other bullshit it's about it's about healthy living fruits and vegetables uh, organic farming we we don't use GMOs at our farms um, everything's done organically we don't pump chemicals in the chemicals we do pump in are derived from organic materials they have that carbon marker in there and um, you know it's the normal organic material poo pee you know mushroom substrate things like that and and none of that none of that is going to kill you well if you were to eat cow poo I'm sure you'd probably die of some nasty disease don't eat cow poo <laughs> but definitely use it in your organic mix for your soil um, so I think I'm just rambling now I feel like honestly I feel like I'm on some kind of like stimulant and uh, my head is very clear um, but I can't really focus I suppose you guys can see that <laughs> anyways this is Mahoney um, it's uh, early for me in the morning I actually got up at like 8.30 um, but I didn't do anything until about 9.30 when I made the tea so um, then I was like, ah, I'll go tell everybody about it. Now you guys can see the lunacy that is I. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, I've been rambling now for like 12 minutes. I'm sure you guys probably don't give a shit. Most of you have probably turned it off by now. But I am, I am providing Kratom, this quality Kratom, to anybody who uh, might want to try it out. So PM me here. Um, I'll work something out with you. I'm I'm not in this for the money. Believe me, um, <laughs> money's not going to solve my problems. Uh, it's up here. Uh, my mental health and my physical health that's important to me. So, if you're curious, um, read up on it first. You know, there's a lot of information out there, and um, read all the information, good and bad. There are side effects. Everything has side effects. So read up on it. Educate yourself. Ask some people. Hell, ask me if you want to. And and then make a decision as an individual, as, a, as an adult, to either try or not try this new botanical or whatever it might be at the time, you know. So, yeah. I actually feel compelled to make more tea, but that's just, that's, that's the OCD side of me. We'll call it OCD. Anyways, uh, this is Mahoney. Um, I'm going to try and do some more vlogging. I know my friends are always like, you need to keep vlogging, you need to keep doing this. You're slacking on your videos and stuff, but I've had a lot of stuff going on. I've got two new roommates. Uh, you know, I got my dog, the house, we're getting rid of the house, everyone's trying to find a place to live, we're all working together, we're all cripples, we're all on disability, we're all broke, so we're all trying really hard to work some things together. So, um, it's not Brady Bunch here, no, this is three roommates, and I'm sure you guys know what it's like to have three roommates. We love each other, we do. Sometimes with our fists and sometimes with hugs. No, there's no physical violence here, but we do we do get into arguments. And you know what? That's good because uh, only people who care enough to talk shit to somebody else would talk shit. If they didn't care, um, there would be nothing to be said. So for me, you know, it's like family. Oh. Anyways, I'm done. Okay? I've gone almost 15 minutes. Maybe I should wait until 15 minutes. Let's see. Can I do it? No, I can't do it. I can't do it. Anyways, I'm going to stop this. And then I'll be back later. If uh, I start getting some weird side effects like glowing pee or something, I'll let you know. I might even film it. 